Sea Pen Sea pens are colonial marine canarians belonging to the order Penachalacea. There are 14 families within the order, 35 extant genera, and it is estimated that of 450 described species, around 200 are valid. Invertebrates that anchor on the seafloor are not uncommon, but sea pens possess a few standout features. For one thing, they look like an old-fashioned quill pen. For another, they behave in a completely remarkable way. Sea pens colonize in groups and, when stimulated, light up, displaying a bright green light on the seafloor. It looks like someone flipped on a light switch, especially when groups emit light in sequence. When disturbed, a sea pen forces water out of the colony, making it possible for the sea pen to retreat into its bulbous foot. Sea pens are octocorals, each polyp has eight tentacles. Sea pens glow with a bright greenish light when stimulated. What do sea pens do? Sea pens can deflate or expand by expelling or taking in water through the interconnecting hollow canals of the polyps. They feed on small organisms captured by the tentacles at the end of each polyp. Most sea pens luminesce. Where to spot a sea pen? You can find these light displays in the Pacific Ocean, Gulf of Alaska to California. Sea pens live at depths of over 40 feet but often under 250 feet. When diving, look for mud and sandy bottom sections of the ocean. It's amazing to meet you. Lilac Breasted Roller a lilac-breasted roller is an African bird of the roller family, Coruscidae. It is widely distributed in sub-Saharan Africa, and is a vagrant to the southern Arabian Peninsula. It prefers open woodland and savanna, and it is for the most part absent. At about 15 inches, including its tail, this rather small bird is an impressive hunter, preying on everything from snails to scorpions to lizards to snakes. They're also quite aggressive birds that will carry their prey to a perch. Where to spot a lilac-breasted roller? The lilac-breasted roller can be found in sub-Saharan Africa as well as the Southern Arabian Peninsula. He's totally cute. That's so cute and purified. Panda ant. Euspinolia militaris is a species of wasp in the family Mutillidae. Though it is a wingless wasp, it has sometimes been referred to by the name panda ant. Panda ant. Though these black and white insects are part of a group called velvet ants. These pandas are actually Chilean wasps. With a fuzzy black and white body, white head, and black ringed eyes, the panda ant's resemblance to the iconic Chinese bear is uncanny. While the female panda ant can lay up to 2,000 eggs every year, oh panda ants bite. The panda ant may look cute, but its sting is painful, only the female is wingless, and despite sometimes being referred this species is on the verge of extinction. Anteaters are large predators of these wasps and many of th. Red to as the cow killer ant, its sting isn't the most deadly or painful, this title belongs to a type of harvester ant that can kill a two-pound mammal with just six stings. Panda ants mostly live in coastal areas and deserts. Glass frog The glass frogs are frogs of the amphibian family Centrolonidae. While the general background coloration of most glass frogs is primarily lime green, abdominal skin of some members of this family is transparent and translucent. Lucent bellies and chests in glass frogs the viscera are visible, and an observer can see the heart pumping blood into, the arteries and food moving through the gut. The frog's translucency is a type of camouflage, in which the edge of an animal blends with the relative brightness or darkness of its surroundings. Essa glass frog poisonous? Are glass frogs poisonous? They are not poisonous at all. They are very gentle and harmless. How many glass frogs are left? The exact number of glass frogs in this world is unknown but there are almost 60 species of the glass frog in Central and South America and Mexico. They are not extinct but some species are on the verge of extinction due to extreme deforestation. Let's, let's go glass house. Glass, me glass house, you glass house. You're the glass house. Irrawaddy Dolphin The Irrawaddy Dolphin is a Eurohaline species of oceanic dolphin found in discontinuous subpopulations near sea coasts and estuaries and rivers in parts of the Bay of Bengal and Southeast Asia. It closely resembles the Australian snubfin dolphin, separate species until 2005. Irrawaddy dolphins can weigh up to 400 pounds, 181 kilograms, and can reach lengths up to 8 feet, 2.4 meters. They are considered to be slow swimmers, but have been reported to reach up to 12 to 16 miles per hour, 20 to 25 kilometers per hour, 
when startled or threatened. Are Irrawaddy dolphins blind? It is essentially blind and relies on echolocation. It is the national aquatic animal of India. There are less than 2000 Indus River dolphins, Platenista gangetica minor, left in the world. Hummingbird hawk moth. Why is it called a hummingbird moth? The moths feed from flowers during the day and can hover just like hummingbirds. Ability has earned them the nickname hummingbird moth. There are four types of hummingbird moths in North America. Humming. Hummingbird moths are rather plump. The tip of their tail opens into a fan. They are usually of a rich reddish brown color, at least in part. Like all Lepidoptera, their wings are covered by scales. Just like the hummingbird, the hummingbird moth's buzzing and humming sound is created by its rapid wing movement. Loathed by gardeners, the tomato or tobacco hornworm caterpillar that you see munching on your tomato. Thanks for hatching. Please do like, share, subscribe.